नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एन लाइटनिंग टेक्स सेवन एंड टेक्स एट और चैप्टर नाइन आंसर्स बाय साइडिंग द लॉर्ड्स वर्जन ऑफ सेकंड कैंटो द कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम टेक्स सेवन निशम्य तद वक्तृ दिदृक्षया दिशो वी लोक्य तत्रान्यद पश्यमान स्वधिष्ण्य मास्थाय वी मृष्य तदधितम तपस्यु पादिष्ट इवाद धे मन When he heard the sound, he tried to find the speaker, searching on all sides. But when he was unable to find anyone besides himself, he thought it wise to sit down on his lotus seat firmly and give his attention to the execution of penance as he was instructed. To achieve success in life, one should follow the example of Lord Brahma, the first living creature in the beginning of creation. After being initiated by the Supreme Lord to execute the pasya. He was fixed in his determination to do it, and although he could not find anyone besides himself, he could rightly understand that the sound was transmitted by the Lord Himself. Brahma was the only living being at that time because there was no other creation, and none could be found there except Himself. In the beginning of the first canto, in the first chapter, first verse of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, it has already been mentioned that Brahma was initiated by the Lord from within. The Lord is within every living entity as the super soul, and he initiated Brahma because Brahma was willing to receive the initiation. The Lord can similarly initiate everyone who is inclined to have it. As already stated, Brahma is the original spiritual master for the universe, and since he was initiated by the Lord Himself, the message of Shrimad Bhagavatam is coming down by disciplic succession. And in order to receive the real message of Shrimad Bhagavatam, one should approach. the current link or spiritual master in the chain of disciplic succession after being initiated by the proper spiritual master in that chain of succession one should engage himself in the discharge of tapasya in the execution of devotional service one should not however think himself on the level of brahma to be initiated directly by the lord from inside because in the present age no one can be accepted to be as pure as brahma the post of brahma to officiate in the creation of the universe is offered to the most pure living being and unless one is so qualified one cannot expect to be treated like brahma ji directly but one can have the same facility through unalloyed devotees of the lord through scriptural instructions as revealed in the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam especially and also through the bona fide spiritual master available to the sincere soul the lord himself appears as a spiritual master to a person who is sincere in heart about serving the lord therefore the bonafide spiritual master who happens to meet the sincere devotee should be accepted as the most confidential and beloved representative of the lord if a person is posted under the guidance of such a bonafide spiritual master it may be accepted without any doubt that the desiring person has achieved the grace of the lord text 8 divyam sahasraptam moha darshano jitani latma विजितो भयेन्द्रिय अतप्यत स्माखिल लोकतापन तपस्त पिया स्तपता समाहित लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा अंडर वेन पेनेस फॉर वन थाउजंड इयर्स बाय द कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ द डेमी गॉड्स ही हर्ड दिस ट्रांसलेटेड वाइब्रेशन फ्रॉम द स्काय एंड ही एक्सेप्टेड इट एज डिवाइन दस ही कंट्रोल हिज माइंड एंड सेंसेस एंड द पेन्सेस He executed for a great lesson for the living entities. Thus, he is known as the greatest of all ascetics. Lord Brahma heard the occult sound tapo, but he did not see the person who vibrated the sound. And still, he accepted the instruction as beneficial for him, and therefore he engaged himself in meditation for one thousand celestial years. One celestial year is equal to six into thirty into twelve into thousand of our years. So acceptance of the sound was due to his pure vision of the absolute nature of the Lord, and due to his correct vision, he made no distinction between the Lord and the Lord's instruction. There is no difference between the Lord and sound vibration coming from him, even though he is not personally present. The best way of understanding is to accept such divine instruction. And Brahma, the prime spiritual master of everyone, is the living example of this process of receiving transcendental knowledge. The potency of transcendental sound is never minimized because the vibrator is apparently absent therefore shrimad bhagavatam or bhagavad gita or any revealed scripture in the world is never to be accepted as an ordinary mundane sound without transcendental potency one has to receive the transcendental sound from the right source accept it as a reality and prosecute the direction without hesitation the secret of success is to receive the sound from the right source of a bona fide spiritual master mundane manufactured sound 
has no potency and as such seemingly transcendental sound received from an unauthorized person also has no potency one should be qualified enough to discern such transcendental potency and either by discriminating or by fortunate chance if one is able to receive the transcendental sound from the bona fide spiritual master his path of liberation is guaranteed the disciple however must be ready to execute the order of the bona fide spiritual master as lord brahma executed the instruction of his spiritual master the lord himself following the order of the bona fide spiritual master is the only duty of the disciple and this complete faithful execution of the order of the bona fide spiritual master is the secret of success lord brahma controlled his two grades of senses by means of sense perception and sense organs because he had to engage such senses in the execution of the order of the lord therefore controlling the senses means engaging them in the transcendental service of the lord the lord's order descends by disciplic succession through the bona fide spiritual master and thus execution of the order of the bona fide spiritual master is actual control of the senses such execution of penance in full faith and sincerity made brahma ji so powerful that he became the creator of the universe and because he was able to attain such power he is called the best amongst all the tapasvis hari krishna